Dealing with a patient that has an adrenal tumor requires a multidisciplinary approach. And that's really what we pride ourselves on here at the NYU Langone Medical Center. I have a lifelong interest and specialty in treating diseases of the adrenal gland in a minimally invasive fashion. We have endocrinologists, we have nephrologists, we have radiologists, and of course we have the surgeons to go along with this, and the pathologists. And the combination of this team uh, allows us to focus exactly on what the disease is, how it should be taken out, and what are the subsequent downsides or upsides to the surgery and how we would treat the patient in the post-operative period. Instead of making one big incision, we make a bunch of small keyholes. Uh, one of the keyholes is about 11 millimeters, a little less than a half an inch, and we put a camera in there, in that keyhole into the abdomen. The optics in the high definition are such, it's like 10-fold magnification, that we can see better with this camera than we can see with the naked eye. So the ability to have that kind of visualization and the instrumentation that goes along with that, so we make a couple of other small puncture sites which are anywhere between two millimeters and five millimeters that allow us to use instrumentation. Uh, and using this instrumentation, we do the whole operation identical to the way it was done in the open era. However, do we do this now through extremely small holes? Patients really have much less pain in the post-operative period, and then as they have less pain, they recover quickly, and they can go home much earlier.